This is hydrogen tap one. What we're doing now is a test to see maximum output using salt as an electrolyte in the four plate system. These plates are stainless steel and we're using a 12 volt battery system. The reason you don't see an amp meter in here is because we're using almost 30 amps of current, which is above my digital amp meter. I know this to be a fact because I have an amp meter in the car and I have measured the amperage. As you can see, we're getting considerable amount of hydrogen out of here. The test is to see whether we can get as much hydrogen out of the four plate system as the others are getting out of the rod wrapped with mesh screen. It looks like the test is a success in that instance. There's a quick shot of the unit. We'll show the sludge produced by the salt. The salt is not an option because of what it produces here. Seeing as this test seems to be a success, the next test will be with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, form of lye. What we'll do is show the consistency of the sludge that comes from that salt. The next unit, which I am in the process of building, is longer than this unit and slightly wider. I will be installing long plates in it, which I am hoping will replace the electrolyte since I still don't believe we'll have to use electrolyte by putting these plates in there. The four plate system with long plates in it should take care of the conductivity. Instead of putting a fastener between in the center of the plates, what I will do is put three fasteners, one on each end and one in the center of each plate, holding them together. I believe that will take care of the conductivity that I need it will s prove that we do not need an electrolyte. As you can see, the conductivity of the electrolyte was impressive at this stage. We're showing you the consistency of the sludge that the salt produced. Next, put a piece of paper in there to see how much sludge gunks on it and you can see it's really quite liquid.